Do you remember where you were on June 8th and 9th, 1982? No, but The Clash was in Austin, Texas filming their legendary music video, Rock the Casbah. I'm sure most people out there remember who The Clash are, but some of their other popular songs were Should I Stay or Should I Go, London Calling, Train in Vain, I love that song. They're awesome. Rock the Casbah was one of the early videos that was on MTV. It was directed by Donovan Lutz, and he went on to co-found Big Audio Dynamite. I love them. We traveled to Austin, Texas in search of the filming locations from Rock the Casbah. A lot has changed over the last 40 years, so we did solicit some help. Tito's Menchaca, which was the chic from the video, actually gave us lots of good insight. And we also got lots of help from Claude Matthews, who was one of the production assistants of the video. So thanks so much to these guys for your help, and now we present the filming locations from Rock the Casbah. Alright, this is the scene when the armadillo was running down the road, and where the subway used to be, which is now torn down, is where the Winchell's Donut was located. I grew up going to Winchell's Donuts in Dallas. I don't think you've ever been to one though, have I've, you? I've never heard of Winchell's Donuts. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yes. Why did the armadillo cross the road? Hmm, I don't know. To get to the Clash concert. Ah! <laughs> Here's the gas station where the Sheik was getting gas, and the pumps are literally right here where we were standing, and you can see the uh, gas station in the foreground behind it. It's not a gas station anymore, but it is still a convenience store and it is called Rio Market. Walter Tipps Victorian home built in 1876. It's very beautiful. Um, it only appears for a few seconds in the music video when the armadillo is crossing the road in front of it, but we stopped by to check it out. Behind us is In-N-Out, but back in the day, that's where the Burger King was located, where the guys went and got a burger. Lion Hotel. This is one of my favorite scenes from the video. This is the part where the guys from the Clash are lounging by the pool and um, in comes two other guys with the jam box. Dancing across. Dancing across in front of them. And it was filmed here at the Lion Hotel. This is a beautiful older hotel. You're in the heart of Austin. And uh, I can see why they chose this place. It's, a, it's really neat. So we got a good insider tip from Clyde Matthews. He, was, he told us when they were driving back from filming the scene with the oil rig that they saw some of the F-4 Phantoms flying. So they pulled over at the airport at this Hilton Hotel and that's where they filmed that scene from. We found one, you guys. This is the actual type of jet that was flown over in the video. This is an RF-4C Phantom II and it's actually on a display here at a local high school, but it's on loan from the U.S. Air Force Museum. How cool is that? At the end of the video, they end up at the Clash concert at the City Coliseum. Now, unfortunately, the City Coliseum is long gone. It was demolished in 2002. Um, this is the location where it would have been. It's now a park, and beyond that, there is the Palmer Convention Center but we did find a little reminder of the City Coliseum, which I will show you guys. Someone had a pretty good sense of humor and they actually created a restroom behind us that was the same shape as the old Coliseum. So you might be wondering if we found the oil rig where the band was playing in the video. 
Unfortunately, the answer is no. We scoured the internet, we looked high and low on Google Maps to try to find this thing, asked for help, couldn't find it. So if it is or is not still out there, we do have a couple clues. One we know is east of Austin, between Austin and Bastrop, south of Highway 71. A couple other clues that we found in some pictures we were looking at. One, you can see a communication tower behind the guys at the oil rig. And in another picture, you can see that there was a house with a white picket fence. So if you're so inclined to go look for this thing, happy hunting. Let us know if you find it. Well, we searched high and low, but we couldn't find the actual oil derrick, but we did find this guy behind us. It's pretty cute. And actually, this is the closest I've ever been to a working oil derrick, so that's neat. Um, one thing I noticed I didn't realize, it has a really strong smell to it. I bet that day when they were filming, they had to smell that oil smell all day. Hey, maybe that's really why the one guy had the uh, cover over his face. <laughs> you know, they said he was in a bad mood, so he just put that cover on. Yeah. But maybe it was really because it was a little smelly out there. <laughs> it's stinky here. We are standing at the corner of 6 and Guadalupe in downtown Austin. And right here on the sidewalk is where we see the guys walking towards the concert. They're headed to the Clash concert. And it looks very different. A lot different. <laughs> this part's totally under construction and you really can't recognize it. One of the few things we could see that we could tell we were in the right spot was the traffic light and the shape of the traffic light. That was about it. That's it. 